2022 year 2022 and if you haven't heard of adishwar auto ride india well aari or ari as some people call it is the same firm that has brought in brands motorcycle brands like kiwi and belali into india and now the company just of late over the last couple of months has introduced a new umbrella under which they have two more motorcycle brands the first of which is moto morini which mm-hmm. has two motorcycles two uh, two variants of each motorcycle uh, all 650 cc motorcycles parallel twin awesome looking styling this one the xcape x is the most interesting of them and i am here to sample what this motorcycle is all about today we are going to be riding it out here at the pro adventure park in pune we are out here to get some fun kick up some muck and check out what the xcape x is all about so let's get to it The Xscape looks like a nice slick adventure bike according to me. It's got this nice big bike stance with the 19-inch front, 17-inch rear wheel setup, the fully adjustable upside down Masoji front fork and the KYB rear shock not only add to the bike substance but also visually give you this reassurance that this machine is built to go places while allowing you to set it up as you please. You also have the 7-inch TFT digital instrument cluster, the adjustable windscreen, all LED lighting, the backlit switch gear which not only look neat but also feel good quality parts too an aluminum dash plate to keep the engine safe while you have some fun off road and even a couple of usb sockets to keep your devices up and running on the go the moto marini escape 650 comes in two variants one is the standard escape and the second is the escape x and the only things that separate the pair are the wheels they come with the escape 650 comes with alloy wheels while the other the x gets spoke wheels also the x seat is higher by 25 mm at 835 mm as soon as you swing a leg over the escape you'll immediately see how easy this motorcycle is to ride the clutch like the weight of the bars is nice and light and easy to manage the throttle response is good from the get go and even when it comes to braking well the brakes function predictably well with or without abs on The Escape feels nicely balanced at low speed while sitting and it even gets better as soon as you stand up because of its narrow midsection. It's a very forgiving motorcycle if you were to make mistakes on and even when you come to a halt on a tricky patch of road it feels nicely manageable. It's a motorcycle that will manage your skill set very easily and urge you to try and get the hang of something new and ace it. So in that respect it's quite a commendable machine. Now I'm just done riding the Moto Morini uh, Xscape 650X. Well, it's a very capable machine. It's a lovely machine. It not only does it look good, but can you have a load of fun on this thing? You have the adjustable suspension, which I really didn't tweak around with this time. The seat height, it's very comfortable. Even shorter riders won't really find it to be a problem. Uh, you can really grip the tank nicely with your knees uh, once you stand up and give it the beans. Uh, the engine lovely once again parallel twin 649 cc 60 ps of power and around 55 odd uh, nm of torque nice amount of power low down the power band after 2000 rpm when that's when the fun really starts but it's just such a simple enjoyable machine you only have two ride modes you have ride and off road and you also have the option of switching off abs completely and off road mode uh, not too tech heavy just the way i like it and uh, just the right amount of equipment on this bike to really have some fun adventure touring well this is a seriously very nice machine now although we don't have the price for it as yet uh, it's slated to be launched on the 29th uh, of this month september but considering that this machine which is sold abroad as well in europe it undercuts something like the yamaha tenere the 700 and even the tiger sport 660 by some fair margin now considering that the tiger 660 will uh, does cost around 9 lakh rupees out here in india well this machine if it undercuts that man you really have to consider this bike the moto morini it's a serious amount of fun i really like how easy the escape is to ride on smooth roads well it's no fuss at all and out on off road patches if you get stuck you can just lock it around till you get loose and you'll be on your way again in no time 
it's a real hoot to ride overall and definitely a motorcycle someone who's upgrading to and venturing into the mid displacement adv space for the first time should definitely consider yep the incoming himalayan 650 will definitely have its work cut out for it when it arrives out here and for me it's all down to this bike's pricing because this is the one thing that can break this extremely desirable machine so after having a real ball of a time with the Moto Morini Xscape 650DX, well, we haven't really had a chance to have a go with the second bike that we have out here from Moto Morini, that's the Semezzo 6.5. But we do have the opportunity to check out the second brand that falls under the Moto Vault umbrella from Adeshwar Auto Ride India. So this is the 350T Adventure, 350cc single cylinder motorcycle. There are five variations of this particular bike. Now, this is the most adventure focused, you could say, version of this particular bike that we're going to be focusing on today. The Zontis 350T Adventure looks like a mix of shrunken versions of a Tiger and a GS put together. But still, it definitely looks like a motorcycle that's bigger than it actually is. It's got all the visual traits of a proper off-road machine. The 19 by 17 inch front and rear wheel setup, inverted 43mm fork up front with a monoshock out back, a big beak, LED lights, wide bars, the backlit switches, big windscreen, the massive tank, standard crash guards and a high upswept exhaust. Now all five versions of the Zontes 350 bikes are eye-catching in their own way with their in-your-face styling and glossy colour schemes. Now all the bikes come with keyless ignition where you have buttons on the bars that function the fuel filler lid, release the seat and in the case of the 350T Adventure Tourers also raise and lower the windscreen. You also get a 5 inch LCD color screen that reads out the bike's information for you and you can even cast your phone screen onto it which would be great for Google Map navigation. Other features include dual channel ABS which can't be switched off, a standard TPMS system and a big 19 litre fuel tank. Now the 350T ADV might have all the underpinnings of a good proper adventure motorcycle and it definitely managed very well over broken surfaces of road and loose gravel and the like. But when I treated it to some fine slush and greasy rocks, I felt very let down by the tyres. The tread pattern and even the rounded profile was more suited to road riding than off it. Now after a quick run with the Zontes ADV, uh, this is the most adventure focused motorcycle that the uh, brand currently have in their 5 motorcycle lineup in India at the moment. Well, I have to say that although it has all the traits, the visual traits and the visual elements of a proper thorough ADB motorcycle, well, off the road, I'm not too sure whether it really holds up all that well because first and foremost, uh, yeah, a couple of bits. The wheels, well, they're proper ADV rims, but then again, the tyres that uh, Zontes have on the motorcycle, well, they don't really suit the character of the bike. And uh, they're off the road, in, especially in the wet, well, you can tend to have a lot of hairy moments unnecessarily. Second, yeah, it, the foot pegs, the rubber mounts don't come off, and you cannot really get a good grip of uh, grip with your feet of the motorcycle when uh, it starts raining, and that also was a bit hairy. and. I did have a couple of instances where I really thought I was going to lose it and uh, crash the bike. Now, uh, in terms of features, yes, it has, it comes back to the gills. A lot of electronic uh, stuff you have on there. But do you really want all these features? Well, that's up to you to guess. Uh, to me, it's not really necessarily. Uh, the electronic fuel filler cap, the keyless ignition, or the seat that pops up at the push of a button. One really nice thing was uh, the visor that adjusts uh, at the push of a button as well. But uh, yes, altogether it looks really good. But on the road, I think this motorcycle is an adventure tour at the end of the day. And it feels more suited to road riding than uh, off it. It's a very comfortable motorcycle. The seat is nicely contoured. The tank, good enough to give you a good range out on the highway. Very comfortable. The engine is a nicely refined liquid cool unit with around 38 PS of power and 32 Nm of torque. There's a good amount of grunt all around the band and the 6-speed gearbox feels nice and snappy. Yeah, so a lot of nice bits on this motorcycle that cater to the whole adventure touring aspect. But then if you consider it to be an all-out adventure motorcycle, well, you might be slightly disappointed. A lot of 
unwanted bits you could say uh, such as the crash guards these mounts over here they are metal the tail number plate uh, the holder that is made of metal as well and even uh, for instance one bit that i noticed just while riding was the rectifier which you can see here uh, slightly oddly located uh, stuff flying up it could be prone to damage and it could just be lost that's an important part that sends uh, power to the battery and uh, to the rest of the motorcycle so if you lose out on that you might be in a bit of a soup altogether a very nice adventure touring machine uh, not the best adventure tourer as of now we i still have to ride it i think it would be more suited to like dry situations like gravel roads and stuff like that i think it would be like a lot more suited to that but out here on the off beaten path mud roads a lot of rocks and stuff ah, man these tires they are just a let down to be honest i think you will want to put on a nice pair of nobbies onto this motorcycle to really enjoy it a lot better